Before moving on to questions about similarity involving area and volume, one more question about similarity and lengths. Yeah? And pre please make sure you've seen my previous videos about uh, similarity because in each video uh, something new was added, eh? a, a new question was asked. Um, so check my site explainingmaths.com where you will find all these videos nicely organized for yourself. Okay, but now this question. It's a very typical question involving similarity where you have actually only now one triangle as it appears, but there is like a triangle inside as well and all these lengths. Now, hopefully you can read that. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter because I always tell my students and I'm telling you as well to kind of break up the question. What do I mean with that is draw those two or sketch those two triangles separately because then you'll be able a lot easier to identify the corresponding sides. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to sketch them separately. So we have the a big triangle. Yeah, that's the one basically we already see. Yeah, it's roughly like this. And we have the smaller one inside okay it's only a sketch guys don't it's it's it's, it's not a, a technical drawing okay because it's important now that you identify how long each side is so i'm looking at the bigger triangle now how long is this side yeah because that's where a lot of students go wrong two centimeters and another three so that one is going to be five centimeters yeah and by sketching those two triangles separately you'll be able to see that quicker then this length is x i have no idea and this length is four plus yeah plus y i'm not, not sure what y is but let me just write down four plus y for now good now the smaller triangle i'm going to do the same thing three centimeters here three centimeters there and four centimeters over here so that is actually what type of a triangle that is an isosceles triangle you see that it's an isosceles triangle. Hey, hang on a minute, that perhaps is already important. Anyway, never mind. Let's continue. Yeah, so I'm gonna put away the question now. We'll return to it later. I'm gonna have a look at my sketches. To find x, yeah, to find x, um, I write down x over the corresponding side in the other triangle, yeah? x corresponds with three. Is x gonna be bigger or smaller to, uh, compared to three? Yeah, that's an important question to ask yourself. Yeah, it's gonna be bigger. Yeah, make sure your answer is bigger. All right, equals. Now you're gonna find two sides of which you know the length of both. Yeah, two corresponding sides, I have to say. And you very easily see now three and five are corresponding. But I started with x, I started with the bigger ones. So I'm gonna start with the big one again, five over three. That's basically the skill factor, five over three. Yeah, so x equals five over three times three, yeah, which is five. Yeah, of course it's five, because it's an isosceles triangle, do you see that? So this has to be an isosceles triangle as well for them to be similar. But okay, we calculated that, five centimeters, and it all makes sense, that's the beauty of maths. Okay, but now we have to find out what y equals to, okay? And if I go back again to, my pre, uh, to, to, to the question, we can't really find out what y is in one step. But I can find out what the entire length is. And then if I take away four, then I will be left with y. So I'm gonna find out what is the entire length, okay? Uh, and I'll assign a letter to it. Let's, uh, let's do the letter A, yeah, why not? A, a of apple, yeah, look at that, A of apple. Okay, that wasn't fun, but we'll say it is A. So I'm just gonna put a big bracket there and I'll say A. So I'm going to look, I'm going to try to find out what the length of A is. A over the corresponding side in the other triangle, 4, yeah? And A is going to be more than 4, yeah? Because this is a bigger triangle. Equals two lengths of which, two corresponding sides of which I both know the length of, 5 over 3. If I start with the big one, I'm going to start with the big one again. All right. So A equals 5 over 3 times 4, which is 20 over three, yeah, which is, it's not seven, is it? So it's gonna be six, 18, two over three, yeah? 6.6666667, but please guys, just say, just leave it as a fraction. Who, who needs decimals, yeah? Six, two over three, that is an exact answer. Well, if you give it as a decimal, uh, you're actually rounding. Hey, is that my final answer? No, it's not. The entire length is six, two over three, yeah? So what is why? 
And where do I have space to write that? Well, y is going to be, I'll do it over here, it's going to be that entire length, 6, 2 over 3, take away 4. That's what I just said, huh? 6, 2 over 3, take away 4. So my final answer is 2, 2 over 3 centimeters. Beautiful. Was this useful? Like and share it. Then I can help your friends too. Check my site explainingmaths.com and I have organized all the resources you need to do well in your maths exams and to understand maths a little bit better. And uh, so check my site explainingmaths.com. And the next video, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. We're going to have a look at area yeah, and skill factors and similarity. And then we're going to look at volume. Look, I, I have some, so, some nets prepared for you. Eh? We'll have a look there. What, what, yeah, similarity in volume, what happens then? So I'm going to see you over there and I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.